Welcome to part 3 of uh, the networking uh, description for OCI. So in here, yeah, we previously created some nets, we created some route tables, uh, network gateways, uh, not gateways, uh, internet gateway, service gateway and so on. So now I will go on the security list and I will show you what uh, you can add in a security list. Yeah, so in a security list, by default, the default security list has allowing uh, uh, has port 22 allowed yeah, from the internet if it is a public subnet or internally yeah, if it is a private one. But when you create uh, a security list, yeah, you have two type of uh, yeah, resources on the left. Yeah, ingress rules. So this means this is the traffic that is allowed from outside yet yeah, that security list to come uh, into the in, in from the subnet yet yeah, to come into the subnet. And egress, it is the traffic that comes from um, the um, subnet itself here yeah, outside. Okay, so usually you can leave it uh, yeah, with destination wall because, uh, uh, yeah, it's n unless you have a security requirement that anything you will leave your environment only on certain ports and only from certain uh, uh, application. Yeah, so this is the part in here. I usually like to put that uh, yeah, in here, leave it as little as possible and use a network security group for more granular use. Plus I want to use a network, a next generation firewall maybe. Okay, so in here I have ingress rules. Yeah, so ingress rules, I'll click add another ingress rule. So now, yeah, I have two options to select. Stateless rules means that if I'm gonna open uh, a connection, yeah, from the internet on a certain point, the traffic will be allowed to come also back on uh, maybe a different port or even the same port. Yeah, so this is uh, if I'm gonna use a stateful connection. Sorry, yeah. So a stateful connection means that uh, I'm allowing this type of traffic. Now, if I want to make it a little bit more uh, complicated, I will enable a bidirectional st uh, traffic flow. That means that if I'm gonna allow in here access, let's say from the internet on port, uh, let's say 20. Uh, 25 or yeah things like this doesn't matter yeah let's put one that, uh, 339 or things like this i also need to allow yeah to, uh, to come the traffic to come back also on this one as an egress rule okay so that means if you're going to create something on stateless you need to be very careful also to to allow the traffic to come come out and yeah, not only in Okay, so this is something very simple related to this. This is a personal firewall. You need to think it like the policeman that is allowing you to get in. Yeah, if you're, let's say, if you're gonna go uh, with the stateless rule, that let's say you can think you, you're going to a prison. Yeah, so if you create a, a stateless rule in here, means that you are allowed to enter in the prison, but unless you have an uh, egress rule you'll be uh, let's say stuck in there yet yeah, this uh, prison guard will not uh, policeman will not let you to get out from here okay moving back a little bit in here routing tables yeah as you see we see created two routing tables related one for private one for public but i'll go now on this part network security groups remember what i told you so when, when you create a network security group yeah you can create it for different types of application so let's see maybe i want to create an application that is called rdp so this is a red mode desktop uh, protocol what i'm gonna do i want to use a cider block i can go and put my own uh, ip for that machine but because i will delete it after this i can go directly with all of this or let me go say from the beginning what is my IP? Okay. I will go to that page. I will see what is my external IP. Let me pause it one second. Anyway, it is a uh, my IP will be changing, so yeah, I can use this one. At this point, I will go to uh, the virtual cloud network. Source IP is gonna be my IP. I'm gonna put a slash 32. Yeah, it's only one IP if I'm gonna use a slash 32 in here. Port, I will use RDP 3389 and I'll press create. Okay, so right now I'm gonna have a rule, a network security rule that will allow me to connect to the a Windows machine on port 3389 only from my IP address. Okay, now. Uh, let me go a little bit more over the networking yeah the high level menu in here so in here after the vcn you also have an option that is related to the web application yeah so you have in here web application acceleration menu 
uh, we're gonna talk a little bit later about the load balancers yeah we're gonna talk a little bit later uh, about uh, yeah, uh, LB and network load balancer about DNS uh, and uh, what is important is part customer connectivity in here you're gonna see how you can create a site-to-site -site VPN so I'm gonna use two of my tenancies to do a site-to-site -site VPN between different tenancies uh, later so I hope you enjoyed uh, this short video about uh, security list, network security list and an overview of the next uh, uh, videos. Thank you and see you later.